Hello and welcome. Today we'll be taking a look at a comparison exercise we developed to show the inherent efficiencies in Riza floor when modeling building structures. To do this, we developed a building floor plan to be created in both Riza floor and Riza 3D. We kept track of the time required to complete the building in each program and found that for this particular structure, there was about a 61% time savings when created in Riza floor. This percentage, of course, will vary depending on the exact structure being designed, but this exercise should show a reasonable baseline comparison between both programs. I'd also like to point out that because Riza floor is a program tailored specifically for building design, it contains several notable features and tools that can greatly increase modeling efficiency. Care was taken in this example to avoid leveraging these tools that are not available in Riza 3D and unfairly swaying results in the favor of Riza floor. However, it is reasonable to assume that if your structure contains some of the elements listed here, you could see even more time savings in the overall process. And before we take a look at this overall modeling process, let's first quickly review the building structure for this exercise. The structure we're going to model today is a four-story office building that has non-composite concrete deck supported by hot rolled steel beams and columns with a few reinforced concrete load bearing walls. We're assuming that all floors have rigid diaphragms to carry lateral forces to ordinary steel moment frames and reinforced concrete shear walls. On the right, you can see an isometric and plan view of the completed building from this exercise. As we go through the modeling process, we're going to synchronize the videos of each program side by side. Riza floor is going to be shown in the upper left and Riza 3D in the lower right hand corner of the screen. And the videos will be sped up during repetitive modeling tasks and then slowed back down to point out any notable program features or modeling steps. And the initial setup is going to look similar between each program as the main project grids are getting defined. And these grids are just going to serve as important snap points as we begin to draw in our structural model elements. So we'll get started by drawing in our steel columns, and this is where we'll see the first time-saving feature in Riza floor. Uh, and that's the ability to window multiple grid intersections to draw several columns at once. In Riza 3D, the drawing tools are used to define geometry for the first column uh, so that it can be drawn from point to point, and then that column can be copied to the relevant grid intersections. Uh, this is going to be a slightly overall uh, more time-consuming process. And there's often, of course, several different ways that you can model something into either of these programs. Uh, some approaches will be faster than others, but we're aiming to use just typical modeling workflows uh, to keep things as comparable as possible. And we can start to see that our Riza 3D model is just slightly behind at this point, as it's still working to model in some of the last of the primary building columns, while the Riza floor model has finished drawing in the concrete shear walls in preparation for adding primary steel framing. Much of this framing can be quickly modeled in the same way that columns were drawn with a crossing window. A window across the model footprint, the majority of our primary structural framing is automatically drawn between columns and ends of walls at the project grid locations. Some manual cleanup is going to be required at a few locations, but it really only takes a few clicks before all the primary steel framing has been drawn. Since many of the tools in Riza floor have been specifically developed for efficient modeling of typical floor level framing, that brings us to another big time saver when it comes to modeling our infill framing. Uh, Riza floor has an infill framing tool that will give you several different ways to automatically model infill members while still having control over things like framing direction, the number of members in a bay, uh, the maximum span permitted between members, and once that infill framing criteria is set, modeling the members is as simple as clicking within open bays in the structure. So we'll let the videos continue to run as some additional infill framing is manually created before adding in the diaphragm edge and some floor openings in Riza floor. Meanwhile, the Riza 3D model is noticeably starting to lag behind as the concrete shear walls will just start coming into picture shortly and as I'm saying that, there's another unique function within Riza floor worth looking at a bit closer. So when you're defining a floor level in Riza floor, you can assign a default area load that's actually going to apply over the entire floor unless overwritten by other manually defined loads. Uh, the two areas uh, shown in green are actually storage loads that have been added in a couple locations 
which are going to overwrite the default office load that's been considered everywhere else up to this point. Similarly, a corridor live load can be drawn to account for the increased live load requirements of those areas. And lastly, an additive load gets drawn, which is going to combine the default loading rather than overriding it. So this can be particularly handy when trying to consider additional loading on a structure in areas where there might be congested piping or other utilities. Just a few more assignments are made to account for the self-weight of the facade of this building at the perimeter and some equipment point loads which will wrap up the loading assignments for this typical floor. Checking in on our Reza 3D model, we can see that the gap in modeling time continues to grow as this model is just now about halfway through drawing in the primary still framing. While that's finishing up, let's zoom back in on Reza floor to see some additional helpful features for quickly modeling multi-story structures with similar floor plans at each level. When you create a new floor level in Reza floor, you can tell the program to copy various modeling elements such as members, loads, uh, diaphragms, or deck assignments from an existing floor level. In just a few steps, we're able to add two additional floor levels and a roof to this structure. Uh, we didn't use it in this example, but there's also the option for new floors to be considered a child of another floor, meaning any changes made to the floor selected as the parent will automatically be mimicked on the child floor which can be helpful for repetitive construction and loading conditions. And just like that, we can see that all floor levels have been added and the roof plan uh, for this model has got a slightly different geometry from the other floors that it was copied from. So after making a few quick adjustments uh, by deleting unnecessary members at the roof level, we've completed our Reza floor model and it's ready to be solved. Let's take note of the runtime for this model and then we'll head back over and check on the Reza 3D model and see how it's finishing up. Since it looks like this still has a way to go, I'll go ahead and speed up the video so that we can get to the results a little quicker. But a big reason that the same building's taken a lot longer to create in Reza 3D is due to all the time that gets saved using tools in Reza floor that are very well suited for typical building construction. Many floors may only need minor edits to default floor assignments to capture the overall big picture in Reza floor, whereas you often may need to manually define similar framing or loading in Reza 3D, uh, regardless of whether or not it would be considered typical. Now that the model's being solved, we'll go ahead and note the finish time, which is going to be put into the modeling speed comparison slide that was shown at the beginning of this video. And although we've been emphasizing modeling speed and comparing the programs against one another so far, the true maximum benefit is really obtained when you take the best of what both programs have to offer by analyzing your structure for gravity loads in Reza floor, and then integrating with Reza 3D to complete your lateral design. This workflow would allow you to leverage all of the time-saving measures highlighted in this video, in addition to performing a full FEA lateral design of the structure in Reza 3D. If you'd like to learn more about what each of these programs has to offer, you can visit our website at reza.com to review the latest information available. You can also send us your questions in an email to info at reza.com. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.